Hey guys, welcome back to Time Zone. It's Cinnamon a Minute, and we finished our present time 2010, and now we're going to unknown. Where are we? Not in the past or future. An odd place. Time's final escape. So we're in an alternate dimension where everything's crazy and Wonderlandish. So I'm apparently gonna just assume this is Wonderland. So. Welcome to Wonderland, everybody! Except, this is kind of my first visit, too, so... Where there's cards and pinballs and chests, this land is actually pretty damn awesome, I have to say. But I bet it's gonna be very, very frustrating, so I'm excited for that. So, I'm assuming this is also the final world, because... His final escape. So, yeah. It's the final shell shock, but it's not Technodrome. Oh my. And we're gonna be playing some pinball as we go in this weird world. You know, I just love how video game characters, when they go into worlds like these, they just don't. They just react like it's a normal thing. Like, just look at the kid with the hat. He's just all smiley and happy, and like looks like nothing's happened to him. And everything's just perfectly fine and jolly. But you know, it's just not that way all the time. Especially if you went here, it, it'd be pretty messed up. I wouldn't like being in a place like this. So, level two. Apparently we're, like, bacon is now trampolines. That's pretty awesome. I love to have a bacon trampoline. Because then you can eat it and get a good workout at the same time as you bounce and do flips and all that crazy stuff. You'd be the coolest kid in town as they call it you'd be the kid of I want to be the guy of I want to be the I want to be the I the letter I the letter I I've been considering things like the letter I like bouncing snails that starts with the letter I doesn't it so does horse knights pieces of chess stop bouncing so much on these bacon whoa whoa this is going crazy too crazy and still, even in an alternate crazy dimension, giant totem guys are killed by hats. Makes sense, right? Well, of course it makes sense in this world, because anything can make sense. Ha ha ha! Stop doing that! I'm trying to get up and finish it. Yeah! There. Apparently, if you can't do it, you gotta ha- Blah! That was a completely worthless skateboard, because it did not help me at all. Come on now. Ah, whatever. These pinball machines aren't helping us at all. Yeah! Whoa! That actually, that guy actually helped us. We should thank him later. But hey, stage clear, so who cares? Even for the final level, the levels are relatively short. Okay, so now we're in question question land. The bonus game for this, I wonder what it could be. Congrats for reaching here, my questions are hard. What's the name of your girlfriend who time nabbed Harukua, Haruka? I mean, I've been having a hard time pronouncing her name this entire time, so I think I should remember. Thanks for the free three up. Surprising how that was the easiest question in the game. So we travel into the land of cake. Man, I'd love to be in the land of cake. That's delicious sounding. Cake and whipped cream for as the ocean. I wonder if that fire can kill us. It's science! Why, well, yes it can. So yeah, cake. I, I just stop here and take a break to just eat everything. I mean, I don't know about you, kid with the hat, but this place is pretty freaking awesome. I mean, it's cake. A land of cake, nonetheless. And the water is whipped cream. I mean, I don't care if you can't swim. Whipped cream's pretty thick. And so is your head. Oh, I told you. Okay. The music's also relatively different here, too, in this world of cake and whipped cream. Man, Dr. Time. For an evil scientist, sure has a pretty badass hideout. 
I mean, who wouldn't want to live here? I mean, cake, man. Cake. Better than anything in the world, for the most part. I mean, maybe he's trying to tempt the kid with the hat to stay here. And within 24 hours, whoa, you, he will get a skateboard in which he will run over everybody and finish the level relatively quickly. Yeah, it makes sense. So I'm having an easier time in this world than I am in the last one. This is a relatively nice world. So it's the final level of the game, I hope. Or, not hope, but think. And we got killed by the easiest enemy here. That's stupid. Probably the easiest enemy in the game. Possibly. So, ever oh. Yay, rotating platforms. I'm excited. Yay, it's gonna be platforming through rotating platforms. I'm really exciting. Excited. Blah. So, this is when the game's gonna show no mercy. And do moves like that. Put rolling things in your way, and put a cliff in front just to make it harder. This is because you're special. And such. Ah, well. We'll teach Dr. Time a lesson. And that being Dr. Wily every, at the end of every episode won't do you any good. And such. What? There's more. Why is there more? Was there two rows of them? Oh, well, I don't care much. Those guys are easy. Why do they even exist? The Tiki guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But you know what's not easy is these people. The, the rotating heads. Robot heads. They look like robot heads. Or at least to me. And there it is! The rope to the final boss! And it's Dr. Time and his Time Mobile! You didn't see that. Bring it on, Dr. Time. Yeah! Okay, let's get a good memory of his pattern first. Whoa! Whoa! Exclamation mark! Meaning I'm always gonna be jumping! Why... did that... that didn't even do anything. Ah! I died. Shh! Don't tell the kids. Yeah! Oh. Okay, I gotta remember what he does. He he has an even weirder pa pattern than the ninja we had a couple worlds back. Time zones back. Ugh. It's weird. He flies out, stops in the middle of his flight, goes backwards, then dives downwards. It's just so weird to comprehend and adjust to the pattern and actually fight back with it. I think that's... The, whoa, now it's low gravity. He seems to change everything up. But low gravity isn't going to do you much good if you don't charge at me. Ah oh, well, at least he's not pulling a Dr. Wily again. And now he's actually fighting for real. But perhaps he'll pull another one as soon as we beat him. Oh, at least this low gravity is better than always jumping. Come on now. Actually, now that you get the pattern down, he's not that bad of a boss. I'm probably gonna die now that I said that. Question, what? Whoa, he reversed my controls. What an ass. Okay, yeah, I did speak too soon. I should stop doing that. I'm never saying anything like that until I finish fighting a boss. Okay. Let's try to fit. Whoa. I thought that was... Okay, what's the point of these things if he's just going to wave back and forth on one side of the screen? I thought the exclamation might hurt you, but apparently it doesn't, so what's the point of it, really? It just stops this from happening. Low gravity. Like I care. Did I just beat him? 